right, coming up next, it's a middleweight matchup between the last style bender, Israel Adesanya and Paolo Costa. Our tale of the tape for this much anticipated middleweight encounter. So three years the gap in age between these two fighters with some differences in height, but big differences in reach. Here's Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC middleweight division. Introducing us, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 12 wins, no losses. He stands six feet one is tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Paolo the Eraser! And now we can see his opponent fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 15 wins, no losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Israel! You've been given your instruction in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves this morning. All right, here we go. I am fired up for this fight. It's been a long time coming, and they're finally going to get after it. Ready to fight? Ready. All right, we are underway here at the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada. Well, he came into the UFC as one of the hottest prospects the Octagon had seen in years, and Israel Adesanya has done nothing to diminish that hype. Stuffed 12 takedowns in his UFC debut, and the expectation is that most opponents are gonna try to ground the last style bender. Let's see if he can keep this fight up right here tonight. Israel Adesanya gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. All right, first round is underway, and you know what to look out for here. The powerful overhand punches. That is a big part of his game plan. Every time he makes this walk, it is his go-to punch. We'll see if he can find a home for it early tonight. Nice switch. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him, and this is with it there. Costa gets caught with that punch. Really missed with that right hand. Israel Adesanya gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. One, two. Well, his opponent's got the read now, Joe, as he lands the punch to the head. He's got to change up his striking pattern. Oh, he's in big trouble. Some real power shots here. Tags him again with a flush left hand. Just over two minutes to go in what has been a furious round one. Misses a huge hook to the head. A oh, hook to the head by Costa. The kick gets through. A oh, strong punch there by Adesanya. Flips the punch. A beautiful entry as he secures the double leg takedown. And lose it to half guard. He postures into place. Back to full guard. Wow. He lands a big shot from the bottom. And busy as he looks to improve position here. Looking for a triangle, throws one leg over the shoulder. 
He's got the leg over the shoulder. Now, he's gonna pull down on his shin. Throws his other leg over. He wants to lock it in place. Clamping down with head and arm control very, very tight. Can he get it? He he it. Out tonight. Five minutes <laughs> in the books. And here we see some beautiful submission offense here. Let's take a look at that from a different angle. And let's see if we can get a better look at it from a different angle. Starting off this round, he might still be hurt. He's going to want to look to be defensive and move and avoid getting hit and try to recover. Tagged him. How about that shin? He clipped him. Oh! Oh, slips the punch there, Joe. That one hurt. Total strikes. Well, how about the switch kick to the body by Costa? So yeah, that looks a little wobbly. He's hurt. Street. He's hurt bad. He's rocked. Big shot. Both guys landing in a pretty decent clip. Oh, big left hook there. Good, solid, straight right. Just over three minutes now to go in round two. Oh, oh he got oh. hurt! He's in big, big trouble here. Oh, straight right. Really threw everything into that uppercut oh. and fell short. Wow! He is rocked. Oh, big left. Good defense there. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one. And now starting to find himself in the pocket. Moved in a half guard. Two minutes to go in the round. He got tagged there. Excellent movement and transitions here on the ground. Staying busy. Full guard. Armbar. Throws the leg over the face. Now he's got to extend his body. He's going to extend the body. That is just an amazing technique. There's a lot of pressure on that arm. He might have to tap. That's it. That's it. Won the fight by armbar. Beautiful job. Yeah, no doubt about it, Joe. Really impressive work here tonight. The way he worked to secure that arm and ultimately get the submission finish. He was going to stop at nothing to get the arm bar here tonight. And ultimately, his opponent is forced to tap. And here we see it again from another angle. Isolates the arm, locks it in, and forces the tap. And one more time, nice technique here on this submission. So there he is, your winner by submission, and that's exactly how you put the rest of this division on notice. Looks like this guy could be a factor moving forward in this division. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop for this contest at 3 minutes, 49 seconds of round number 2. Declaring the winner by tap out due to an armbar, Israel the last the last style bender Israel Adesanya and he gets another UFC win here tonight and he has really been critical of his past performances inside the octagon but a whole lot to like out of this effort here tonight gonna be interesting to hear how Adesanya felt about what he was able to accomplish inside this arena